Hello my friends and welcome back to another Uno Moss episode of the series where we're looking at weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. Yet again, and as always, for those that don't know, Uno Moss levels typically showcase things that weren't intended to be in this game. Let's go ahead and check some of them out. The first Uno Moss level of the day is called Don't Go in the Key Door, made by Alpha7. This apparently was discovered by Shino. Shino is a legend around the Mario Maker 2. Parts, so we're not supposed to go in the key door. Okay, well, I mean, the first thing I want to do is go in the key door because it's telling me not to go in the key door. This is very strange, friends. This is very strange because we can hear, you know, you can hear the background audio if you listen. Mario's underwater, you can hear the sound effects, but the game is complete. This is not a soft lock. This is advanced soft lock. The only thing we can do now is quit out of the game. What is that setup? that causes that though that's just dirty because now i have to close it wait why it's take it never takes this long to close out of something oh my goodness to be fair to alpha it does say don't go in the key door I blatantly did not listen to the warning, but I'm gonna not listen to the warning one more time because I want to kind of see what this janky setup is. Brace yourself in the heater. We are Tiny Mario. I didn't even get to see... Oh my gosh. Let's, I mean, I'm just looking here. There is a mushroom. There is a one way, a wiggler, and two, uh, two, uh, uh, you know, cannonball shooters. I wonder if this is recreatable. I wonder if this only works. I wonder if this only works in new Super Mario Brothers U style. To be honest, I don't know how we're topping an Uno Mazava that freezes your game, but we got a bunch more to check out. For example, Play after winning in Super Mario Brothers 1, made by Andy Boy. If you guys don't remember a few Uno Moss episodes previous, I theorized that it should be possible to play after the goal in Super Mario Brothers 1 style. I uh, experimented and was unfortunately not able to get it working, but apparently... Still, I'm not able to get it working yet. Let's, uh, let's just keep experimenting here. Okay, that was incorrect. We still beat the level, but according to anybody, this sh should be possible. Uh, attempt number two here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! It didn't work! Okay. I thought we had it, we did <laughs> I got a little too excited. Take number three, here we go. Nope, so that was that was a little bit off as well. We got the glitch where we're carrying the pal through the pipe, but we're not we need to have the SMB2 mushroom as we go through. Eventually. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, baby. Oh man, I wish there was stuff to play around with. That is excruciatingly, excruciatingly hard to pull off. But that just shows that it is possible, friends. You can. It has been proven possible to be able to play after you win in Super Mario Brothers 1 style. You know what this means. Please make some levels showcasing the weird things that happen when you do this. Make a playground so I can check out what happens what stays around, what works, what doesn't work after you win 
in SMB1 style. I would love to play it in a future Uno Moss episode. Andy Boy also has a second Uno Moss called Pow Through the Pipe as SMB2. So this must be very similar to the first. Is this the same thing as the other one? Looks to be the same exact setup here. And of course I get it first try there. Well, I, I guess I didn't get it first try. Oh, come on! I did, yeah, I did have it first try, son of a gun! Now, for those that don't know, normally you can't bring items down pipes as SMB2 Mario. Um, normally, it will dissipate and you won't be able to, uh, you know, carry an item. But with this glitch, you can do it. And this is show showcasing the weird abnormalities that this glitch lets you do. It's very hard to pull off. I'm very sad we had it. There we go. There we go. Now we need to make sure we hold throw. And then we can beat the level. Very cool how that showcases. If you really use if you use this glitch correctly, you can bring items as SMB2 Mario through pipes. The next Uno Moss level we're gonna check out is made by this Japanese creator. I have no idea what the level title is, but you know, we're gonna play it anyways. Yeah, we got a checkpoint. Oh, no. Let's look at this again without getting the checkpoint. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what, I see why that's weird now. So the flamethrower has some weird hitboxes. Watch, we'll stand up here in the corner. You would think we wouldn't die here. You would be wrong. The flame is not touching us, but it must be the, uh, you know, the residual heat coming from the flamethrower that's causing that. That is kind of interesting. Now that I see it and take a little more careful attention, look carefully look at it, yeah, it is kind of weird. Now we have an Uno Moss by Gelato Boy called Play After the Goal 2. This is 3D World style. A few episodes back, I, I encouraged you guys to make some... 3D world levels um, where you could play after the goal to mess around with it. And it looks like Gelato Boy did just that. So I'm excited to check this out. Got it. Got it. Got it. Here is our playground, friends. Let's take a look. Take a look at the playground. <laughs> okay. The... Uh, the... <laughs> I'm I'm actually really intrigued by the bonsai bill shooter does not shoot, which makes sense because it's an enemy. We're gonna play this one one more time. And what the other big thing was the timed blocks don't work. Normally you would go flying through this pipe. The bouncy blocks work, but there's no sound effect. But these timed blocks that normally switch don't work. Oh, there's more. There was more hidden. The, the screen still scrolls. Okay, that was very cool, Gelato Boy. Next up, we're gonna look at Uno Mas Time Freeze my, by JTH. This is new Super Mario style. Oh, I'm very scared. Is this like what we just experienced? Hold Y plus over. Ah. Ah! Start over, is that what it says? Why is the S backwards? Okay, so that is, it's, you can't do anything. Unlike the first Uno Boss level we showed that was a hard lock, we had to reset the game. This we can, we still have control. Interesting that this, I didn't realize that freezes time, friends. 
I've only ever messed around with that glitch, you know, after you beat the level. I didn't realize... Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I want to... Okay, hold on. I yeah, This is something I need to mess around with. This is supposed to work. Let's see if I have this set up correctly. We need to take damage. It does freeze time, friends. It absolutely does freeze time. Oh my goodness. It's so easy to set up. It's the same exact setup, but instead of having the ending come out, or the, the pipe coming out at the ending and being able to play after the goal, you have Mario take damage. Oh my gosh. Couple questions I have. Will this let us slide on ice blocks? Like if I put an ice block there, will we have enough momentum to keep sliding? We already know we go th right through enemies. What about if we land in a... Okay, I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit. Let's do some testing here. Let's take a look and see what happens with how we have this set up. Will this still work? What's gonna happen here? Okay, the time is gonna freeze, but we slide over the ice blocks. You do not slide over the ice blocks. Although I am curious, I wanna know if we land in the clown car. That's something I wanna find out if or if we'll go right through it. I'm feeling like we're gonna go right through the clown car with this setup. That's so cool how there's a secondary use for this time freeze. Yep, you go right through it. Here is my challenge slash question to you Uno Moss glitch hunters out there. What if during this time freeze glitch, you incorporated the teleportation glitch with the broken track? I do not know how to make broken tracks, but what if Mario was on this conveyor and there was a teleportation glitch somewhere along it? Would the teleportation glitch still work? Would it not work? Try it out. Let me know if you can upload a level. I would love to showcase that as well. Again, I don't know how to do the teleportation glitch with the broken tracks, but I'm curious if it would work once the time freeze glitch is in place. We're gonna look at another one by JTH called Uno Mas Grounded Koopa. No idea exactly what that means, but... Can I still get hurt by this? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we've seen this glitch before, but I've never actually seen the Koopa go through the floor though. Like, that just seems... What happens if I kick this? You can't take damage either. Oh my gosh, that could actually make for some really fun platforming. Look at that, look at that. If you roll into the Koopa shell, you can do some really cool platforming. Oh my gosh, I kinda... Oh my gosh, I have an idea for a level I wanna make. All right, so I think I have this set up correctly. Yes, I do. So, with that being said, we could make some really stupid, stupid platforming levels like let's see if this would work here no not quite not quite but you could you could mess around here and make some really really dumb precision platforming levels utilizing this uh this tech i think that's uh pretty dang cool what happens if you put a boost pad here instead Whoa, okay, so that just changed things up. Watch this now. You put a boost pad there. Now what if I put that on top? Interesting. But if I, okay. <laughs> you can go right through its head, okay. Fascinating stuff. 
Fascinating stuff, friends. Fascinating stuff. Play Uno Moss, the impossible goal made by Ash Apple. I feel like this is probably one we've seen before with SMB3 style. But this is still a really cool one to take a look at. You would think it would be really easy to get the goal, right? Like, we are touching the goal. We, Mario was literally in the goal. The only way you're able to get it is when we duck, I believe. Once you duck, you are able to get the ending, but it just shows you the weird hitboxes that is programmed into the game. It's it's very strange. Look at Uno Moss Goomba Train made by Woe Gamer. We have to reach the goal as SMB1 Mario. I think this is going to utilize... It is going to utilize the Goomba Uno Moss thing that we saw. I already, I'm already dead. The Goomba Uno Moss setup we saw in the last episode. It's so cool to see it in SMB1 style. Dude, look how fast we are going. This is, that is extremely fast. Holy rip. It's cool to see it being used in other styles other than SMB1. Excuse me, Super Mario 3D World. So cool to see it in this. I wonder if it would work in any of the other game styles. Now we're gonna look at Uno Moss POW Excavation up plus YB. All right, I'm gonna hold up up plus YB here. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, right. Why? Oh my gosh. Why is that a thing? This is an Uno Moss I have not seen in a long time, but take a look what's gonna happen. We ri we hold up plus YB, and when the flip block, you know, goes back to its normal state, we get launched off of the POW block. Now, I don't know why, I don't know why we have to do that, but we're gonna do this again. Oh, does it work with springs too? Interesting. This is dumb. <laughs> All right, I. <laughs> it was cool to see the the launching, but no, we're done here. I'm not working on that stupid jump. Uno Mas pipeline problems made by Burrito Bob. All right, Bob, what do you got for us? Aha! -ha! Yes, indeed. This is a really cool Uno Mas where Mario's head goes through the clear pipe. Somehow, it makes no sense. Look at Mario's body. <laughs> Just slowly making our way through. Now that was actually really weird, how that worked. Right, this is exactly like the one we saw a while ago. We're eventually gonna go through the on off here. Right there. So we've seen that before, but it's been a few episodes if you haven't seen it. Um, that's a, it's, it's a very simple setup. You go through a warp box, get instantly sent back. If you're holding up, Mario will go through the clear pipe with his head just completely submerged. I'm gonna look at Uno Moss Peace Swim Just Jump made by R2RO. Not exactly sure. Let's just go through the door. Oh, no. I'm assuming that this is a hint pipe, or at least telling us what what it wants us to do. Because we could swim through that. That wouldn't be a problem. In order to complete the level... Hold B. Uh, so yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't know that if you hold swim, Mario still swims. You'll notice a weird, like, kicking swimming motion where he falls a lot slower. Something I don't know, however, is if this, uh, this does make precision, say, it makes precision swimming a little bit easier as I, 
as I died. What I don't know, what I was gonna say is, I don't know if this maneuver was in uh, Mario Maker 1. It definitely makes precision swimming a little bit easier. Um, oh, there's more. We get the idea, R2. Thank you for showing that. A lot of people probably don't know that if you hold swim, you can control your swimming a little bit. But yeah, I want to know if that was in Mario Maker 1. Can anybody tell me? Now we're going to look at Compound Uno Mas 3D World Jank made by G-Dude 2011. All right, we got several Uno Mas in one here. The unobtainable checkpoint, or at least, I'm sorry, we can obtain it. We can obtain that checkpoint, and then through the pipe. Nice little compilation of Uno Moss levels. <laughs> I love that Goomba, that new Goomba, sideways Goomba train thing is uh, still one of the coolest Uno Mosses I've seen in a long time. How it took so long to be discovered, I don't know, uh, but I, I do love that. Number one by a guy man called Uno Moss Sideway Tongue. Reach the goal after grabbing all one coin. Ah, uh, yes. Saturdays are made for dads. You notice Yoshi's tongue. Normally, Yoshi's tongue only goes horizontally. No matter what you do, Yoshi's tongue always goes horizontal. However, if you're sliding on Yoshi's belly on a conveyor, Yoshi's tongue can go sideways, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to uh, see that that little, you know, physics modifier is in there, if you will. Last but certainly not least, let's look at Unamas Silent and Still Platform made by Escher. What do we gotta do? Assuming we hit that. Huh, so the platform. What a weird setup. <laughs> what a very strange setup. Look at this one more time. So we hit that. Normally, you know, normally you would see the mushroom platform bouncing. And you would hear Mario bouncing on it. No, you do kind of hear something going on. And what you are actually hearing is this ant that is stuck on a spring that is stuck on the mushroom trampoline. So, <laughs> very weird how that works. Uh, but yeah, it, it makes for some interesting platforming. And there you have it, my friends. That's another Uno Moss episode wrapped up and in the books. I know we saw some really crazy things today, and it just goes to show you that Mario Maker 2 still has things to be discovered in this game. Obviously, Nintendo doesn't really care about this game, but we, the players, and you, the creators, do. So keep on searching, keep on hunting, and I will keep on playing whatever you guys discover. I'm super excited to be on this journey with you. Again, remember the challenge I posed with the time freeze glitch and the teleportation glitch. Will that work together? Also, playing after the goal in SMB1 style, I would love to play some levels that showcase what you can do after you beat a level in SMB1. So please work on making those levels and I'll... So please work on making those levels and I'll do my best to showcase them in the next Uno Moss episode. But for now, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time...